what time it is, but I made it. I'm in Greece. What even? Look at that. Can't wait to explore. So we're in the lighthouse now, this is floor 8, and we got the card stacker over here, building the Parthenon. We have some speed cubers making a huge portrait of Erno Rubik out of Rubik's cubes. And I'm over here building some dominoes. We got three towers so far, a bit of a slow progress but we're getting there. And now I see there's a tape artist covering this wall and stuff. So what are you guys building over here? Mosaic of Erno Rubik. <laughs> Erno Rubik. He invented he the one and only Rubik's Cube. <laughs> he invented the Rubik's Cube. He invented wow. this, yep, this thing. What's yeah. your name? Ricky. I'm a world champion 2018. No way. Yeah. That's insane. Let's, let's see your skills. I don't know, I'm not really doing anything, but... <laughs> just, I'm just mixing it up. You're not doing anything? That's like, I could not do that in like a million years. Uh, just, <laughs> I'm just mixing it up. You're not doing anything? <laughs> Amazing. What's your name? I'm Nora. I was on the finals for the last world championship for the female track, but that's it. I finished it. Nice. I'm Daniel Goodman. Check out my YouTube channel. I'm uh, currently Paraminx United States National Champion um, as of 2018. Maybe when this video comes out, I might not be anymore, but we'll see. And there's going to be how many cubes? 2,242. I'm Brian Berg, the card stacker, and I'm attempting to build the Parthenon in a matter of days. Probably easier than doing it with marble. As soon as I get going on my roof here, I can finish out the podium where the stairs would be, I guess you'd say. We are at the Acropolis now. We're gonna see some really cool buildings over here. the Acropolis we're gonna see the Parthenon and we're walking up now it's a pretty long hike but the view is amazing like multiple times and rebuilt. The wind keeps knocking it down. I'm gonna try this again. Oh, <laughs> I failed.
about to go on the panel now. I've never spoken in front of a crowd this large before, so I don't know how I feel about it, but I think it'll be okay. You gotta face your fears, and especially when you're talking about something that you know really well, it's a bit easier. Okay, so I'm on the stage where we're gonna be on a panel with Erno Rubik. This is it. It holds about 1,000 people. We got some speed cubers over here. We got Brian Berg, who's the card builder, and I'm gonna be building over here on a stool. And we have a whole cast of characters inspired by you coming out right now. Lucas Guerin, there is Eric Ockersdyke. You can sit down right here. Oh, and we're, this is Lily Havesh. Lily has 2.3 million subscribers on YouTube. She is an expert at domino building up and toppling down. And this is Brian Berg, the world's greatest architect of card castles. Yeah. Could you explain this object and time? Like how you think about this object in terms of getting faster and faster times. As its inventor and creator, what do you think of that? If we can do something, we can look after to do it better, faster. Uh, more efficiently. From the very beginning, uh, when uh, the cube was introduced to the wider world in the 80s, competitions uh, organized. After the turn of the century, the new generation started a, a new view uh, of speed cubing, and from then, every year, more and more competitions uh, are held. The cube was not made originally for speed cubing. If the cube is made for working, but it's turning and it's workable, for me it was important to, to have a, a, a good working object, but it was not que a question of time. So do you have any questions for Mr. Rubik over there, Lily? Are you happy with the way that people are responding to the Rubik's Cube, and is that the intention that you had when you first invented it? It's uh, good to see. Uh, and be part of the whole uh, history what the cube have done and hopefully will do. What happened with the cube is for me it's a proof that what uh, professionals estimate from people it's much more or less what people are capable to do. At the very beginning they said it will be not possible to sell the cube because it's too difficult. What happened, it's, it's proved it's, it's not right. So people are more and different what we, we expect. All right, so now we have a little race. You say go. Go. Woo! Oh. <laughs> go. So we have very little time, so we basically just have to knock these things down. And how would you like to do that? Uh, well, my preferred method. Your preferred, okay. Is to sneeze, but we won't do that. There you go. Yay! There you go. Yay! Oh, you got, you got that, of course. Yeah, so this is the domino tower that I've built. The tallest one I've actually done is about 20 feet tall, so this is just a small little replica. So, we're gonna knock this down, and of course, because I make YouTube videos, I'm gonna film this. So, actually, let me just throw a domino at it. Do you wanna throw one, <laughs> Mr. Rubik? I put some more. Yeah, oh, oh you're gonna help me build it. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Make it higher. Yeah, three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one more, one, one more. more. Ah. Hey. Yeah. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Would you be so kind as to sign a domino? Why not? Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to 
That was such a fun trip. I would totally go back in a heartbeat. I had a blast there, met some amazing people. Their links are in the description if they have a channel. And the full video of the talk with Erna Rubik is also there if you want to watch it. And I don't know, you've probably already seen this, but if you want to see the domino project that I was working on, link is also below. And if you're new to this channel, this is Behind the Five. It's my personal vlog channel and I kind of just post whatever I'm feeling, whatever I'm up to that's not completely related to dominoes. So if you like this kind of content and want to see what I'm doing behind the scenes, feel free to subscribe if you want and uh, I hope you have a good day. <laughs> I'm Lily and I need to think of a new outro.